Oh, but he's done what he's been asked to do, I think, up until this point. Now it's, it's D-Day. It's his squad, shaped by him. Got the players at a, a wonderful transfer window, just gone. Bringing in winners, mm. people that can change the culture of the football club. Now I think he'll be judged properly. And, and, and I think the remit now is before hand the remit's been to improve and get them to this mm. point where they can contend. Now it's going on, now you've got to convert that to trophies. And if he doesn't, then his head will be on the, head head on the chopping board like every other one. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has done a lot of fantastic work as Manchester United manager up until this point. We've gone from a laughing stock as a club to a team which is now being considered title contenders. Our squad has changed from having Rojo, Alexis Sanchez and Fellaini to a squad which contains Varane, Sancho, Bruno Fernandes and Cristiano Ronaldo. Players like Luke Shaw, Marcus Rashford, Scott McTominay have massively developed underneath. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's management. The culture at the club has massively improved. Solskjaer has done so much work, good work, in his time so far as Manchester United manager. That cannot be forgotten. But this is the point where things have to change for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. That particular part of the road, he has walked down. And I think he's done it very, very well. But Solskjaer now has to evolve as a United manager if he is going to be successful. Because what got you here won't get you there. And that is why that game against Young Boys highlighted huge problems that Solskjaer has that Manchester United do have under Solskjaer. And if he doesn't fix them, he will ultimately fail. But to try and shout Ole out after one game against Young Boys... It's, it's madness. It doesn't take into account everything. That's what I'm doing in this video. It's my message to Solskjaer. And I think it's a message from all Manchester United fans. So please watch the whole video before you do leave a comment. There's a book by a man called Marshall Goldsmith. And like an American business executive called What Got You Here Won't Get You There. And this visualization there of the two ladders is exactly the point that Solskjaer is at as Manchester United's manager. Because that first ladder, he's climbed successfully. Re-establishing the club's culture, getting the squad to where it needs to be, getting United to the point where we're title contenders again. I think he's done a very good job in walking up that first ladder. Just in the same way Bruno Fernandes has dragged us off the floor as a club on the pitch, Solskjaer has done that overall as a manager. And he's done that very, very well. But what he's got to do now is start climbing that second ladder. And that is is the biggest problem that Solskjaer faces this season. Ole needs to start believing in himself as an elite level manager. And that game against Young Boys exposed the fact that he hasn't switched that mentality yet. Obviously, when we went down to 10 men, despite being 1-0 up, we went to a defensive formation. It ultimately backfired. We switched to five at the back. That backfired. Lingard came on as a sub. That backfired. Everything that Solskjaer did in that game backfired. And it was because of that defensive mentality, that switch away from it. This Manchester United team, despite going down to 10 men against young boys, were more than capable of winning that game, more than capable of scoring a second goal and more than capable of winning those three points. But the mentality of Solskjaer as a manager reflected onto the players. We went inward, we looked inward, we inverted and therefore we went downwards. And we've seen it too often under Solskjaer. In those situations, in those moments, his default is to sort of regress to go backwards and to sit on a lead and United have become unstuck so many times. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has to evolve as a manager now if we are, as Rio said. Now I think he'll be judged properly and, and, and I think the remit now is before hand the remit's been to improve and get them to this point where they can contend. Now it's going on, now you've got to convert that to trophies and if he doesn't then he's, he, he'll be on the, his head will be on the chopping board like every other manager. Now Solskjaer is going to be judged. It's D-Day for him. He is at the point now where things have to change and things have to evolve. And it's exactly why that young boys game has caused such a seismic reaction. Because every single one of us can feel that this squad is capable now. This squad is really genuinely capable of being to the title contenders. But the manager's mentality has to reflect that. And the squad has evolved. Solskjaer's mentality hasn't. Not right now. And managers evolve. I always point to this as a great example. Fergie. Fergie is a man who built all of United's successes on a 4-4-2 formation. Then Chelsea came in. They rocked the boat. United needed to evolve. United needed to adapt. We got Carlos Quiros in and we switched to a 4-3-3, a more modern style of football. Fergie hadn't done it before. 
But he realized that what worked, what got to this point, is not going to help us to that point. We switched to a 4-3-3. We arguably played our most exciting football ever in the Premier League. That's 07-8 team. The most excited I've ever ever been by a Manchester United team with Ronaldo, with Rooney, with uh, everything that we had in those few years. In that switch of formation, that came because Fergie realised that what worked for him previously was not going to help him at this point. And he evolved and changed. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has to do the same thing with the mentality that he has at Manchester United. When we went top of the league last year, we didn't know what to do with ourselves. We were great as the underdogs. Whenever we went a goal down last season, Manchester United won more points from, I think, only maybe Newcastle, I think, were the only other team to have gained more points from losing positions in the Premier League than United did last year because we had that underdog mentality. As soon as we were losing, players were like, this is when we can start playing. What Solskjaer has to do is get players playing like that from the first whistle because we've got a squad capable of doing it in the Premier League and the Champions League. So therefore, the mentality that worked before will not take us to where we need to be and where we need to go. And that's winning the two trophies that have eluded us for a long, long time, the Premier League and the Champions League. Because Solskjaer, it is up to you to change that mentality. Bringing Ronaldo in, that's definitely going to have that sort of impact on the players. But you, as a manager, you have to reflect that onto the whole squad. Have the belief, even if you go down to 10 men, that we're capable, and we are. We still have Bruno on the pitch, Popper on the pitch, Ronaldo on the pitch, Van der Beek on the pitch. We have more than enough there to score a second against young boys and kill that tie off. That mentality has to come from you. And if we don't do that, if you don't do that, then I think you will ultimately fail in your ambition and Manchester United's ambition to win the Premier League and the Champions League. So my message to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and the message from all Manchester United fans is we're United, man. We're title contenders. We've got Ronaldo, Sancho, Varane, Greenwood, Pogba, Bruno, Shaw, Maguire, Varane, McTominay. We've got so many elite Top level players in that squad. We are title contenders. We have to start playing like it. Even against Newcastle, it might have been a brilliant 4-1 win, but it wasn't until Newcastle equalised that United came to life. We scored right at the end of the first half, but after the first 20-25 minutes was very slow style of play. And even the opening 30 really against Young Boys was quite a slow tempo. United need to go out lead from the front and lead by example with the style of play and puff our chests out and say we are united we're not doing that we haven't ever really done that under Solskjaer and I nobody can take away from the brilliant work that Ole has done to this point he has helped get this club to now but what worked to to get us to this point is not going to take us to where we need to be where we want to be for those titles for the Premier League and the Champions League and Solskjaer it's up to you to evolve as a manager now Believe in yourself. Believe in the fact that you can be an elite manager. We've beaten, he's beaten Poch, he's beaten Tuchel, he's beaten Klopp, he's beaten Mourinho. Over a 90-minute period, Solskjaer has done it and gone toe-to-toe with the best. Of course, he's lost plenty, but he's beaten lots of elite-level managers over a 90-minute period. In those games, in those situations, Solskjaer can be good, can be elite. Needs to do it all the way through a season for us to compete over a 38-game Premier League campaign and win it the mentality shift has to happen for Solskjaer young boys exposed that that hasn't happened yet but we need to use that young boys as a watershed moment to make sure that does not come back in this season because if it does Solskjaer I believe will ultimately be sacked and won't win the titles that he desperately wants to win for Manchester United that's my message to Solskjaer is evolve man that first ladder you've climbed it you did it very well start climbing that second ladder and puffing your chest out and getting United to puff their chest out. Because if we don't do that, it's going to end in failure. I want to know what you think about Solskjaer, about what he needs to do, about everything. But my message to that to Solskjaer is very simple. What you've done is great, but get us there. And that change has to come from you.